Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. Okay, this beginner workout, we're gonna do some upper and lower supersets. So a superset is when I take two different exercises and we do them back to back. The benefit of this is that while lower body is resting, upper body is working and vice versa. This allows us to get a lot of bang for our buck in a shorter period of time. The format will be 40 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. I'll start you with the warm up and end with a cool down. Be sure to grab a variety of dumbbells in the workout today. All right, that's all you'll need. And we're gonna be going up and down on the ground as well. So if you have a bench you'd like to use instead of going down on the ground, feel free to do that. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. Right. I will put strength on my watch here today. Let's start with a warm up single side circle right here. Switch directions. And switch your side. Switch directions. Good, hands out to the side, one behind the head, one behind the back. Now switch, just warming up your rotator cuff here a little bit, or that ball and socket in the shoulder blade, the shoulder, shoulder girdle area. Last four, three, two. All right, feet a little wider than shoulder width, and knees are soft, we're gonna hinge forward and back. Two more here. Nice, and up into some hip openers, just up and around like you're stepping up over a chair. Two more here. And we'll go into some heel digs. Sweeping the ground, alternating sides. Last one here. Good. And reach across, tap that out. Up and over. Good. And a little step press right here. And overhead reach. Let's go a little bit wider than shoulder width. We're gonna reach low, just reach as low as you can, and then up to the tiptoes. If you're just here, that's fine as well. If you can squat low, do that. Last one here. And finishing with the torso turn. Very good. There's the first superset. Here we go. Starting with your upper body. Okay, we're gonna go into some pinwheel curls. So you can grab fives, eights, tens, somewhere in that range. Knees are soft. We're crossing in front of the body. Palm faces the ceiling. And we lift and flex your bicep at the top. Now, important not to rotate the torso here. Just keep it facing me.
Setting those down. If you would like to hold a weight for your side to side squat, you can. If you don't want to, that's fine too. I'm gonna hold it here, we're gonna drop it low and then together and other side. Shoulders back and we drop and together and drop. All right, if you can't squat, go ahead and give me some high knees right here. Just like that, all right. your pinwheel curls. All right, again, fives, eights, tens, twelves, whatever works for your fitness level. I've got tens here. Shoulders back and knees are soft. Cross in front right here. one of those weights down, getting ready for my squat. Or like I said, a high knee. I'll hold a 10 here. Nice and tall, keep your back nice and straight and drop it low. One more round. Back to the pinwheels. Roll your shoulders back, stick your chest out, flex at the top, and we curl and switch. Drop into that squat for a final one. Nice and tall. Starting with the feet together, alternating drops. Here we go. And you're low and together. We're heading down to the ground. You can grab threes, fives, or eights, somewhere in that range, maybe for that tricep press extension. And we'll stay down here for a lower body with the glute bridge. Palms facing each other. We press to the ceiling, back at the elbow, ceiling and down. Ceiling, just bending at the elbow. You're not letting that shoulder migrate back. 
And one dumbbell on each side of your cheeks. I really want you to straighten the arm at the top, flex, and then come back down to the ground so we target a little bit of chest in that press. Very nice. All right, set those weights aside. We're gonna do a glute march. So we're gonna alternate lifting those legs to the ceiling. You could just hold a bridge if that's too challenging. So we push up, switch legs up. Now I'm going through my heel. All right, coming back down to my heel and pushing those hips toward the ceiling. Straight up, that's it. Feel this in those hamstrings, a little bit of calf, and some glutes as well. Now the further your heel is away from your bottom, the more you're going to challenge the hamstring, okay? If your foot is close to your bottom, the more you'll target glutes. Try to keep that foot far away if you can. Let's go back into our tricep press extension. I'm holding eights here, I'll stick with this. Palms are facing up to the ceiling, then bend back at the elbow. Here we go, press it up, back, up, and down to the ground. Now, we're gonna go into that glute bridge. I just wanna make a note here. Always keep the wrist locked and neutral when you're holding these dumbbells. Don't let your wrist fall to the side there, okay? Don't wanna get carpal tunnel. Hamstring march, and we press toward the ceiling. Good. Again, if you're fatiguing, just hold that glute bridge. And round three. Back to your triceps. Elbows are close to your body. And straight up toward the ceiling. Here we go. Press it up and back, up and down. Setting the weights down. We'll finish off with our last hamstring march. All right, challenge yourself with your feet further away if you can. Hips are up and we march, press and press. I like to hold onto my yoga mat just so I don't slide. Just kind of grab the sides of each uh, side of the yoga mat. Up to the ceiling.
Very nice. Come to seated. All right, make sure you're not dizzy. Grab some water. Pause the video if you need a longer rest. And we're up for your third circuit here. Okay, going with some lighter weights. We're gonna hit some shoulders here. All right, I want you to come up to a high pull there, and then we're gonna come to a W. You can use twos, threes, fives, eights. Shoulders back though. So we high pull here, and then into that W here. So it's gonna be whatever you can W, so go lighter if you need. High pull, slow to W, that's it. Got an itch, sorry, keep going. <laughs> Knees are soft, stick your chest out, W. Now, of course you could do one or the other of these moves as well. If one just feels better for your own shoulders, feel free. Nice. Moving into your plie pulse. All right, you can hold the weight here if you'd like. I'm gonna hold just a 10 pound dumbbell. Wide plie. All right, shoulders back and we'll pulse at the bottom. So you drop, pulse, up and squeeze. That's it. Now, if this doesn't feel great on your knees, consider doing a sit squat where you sit on the side of a chair and then just stand and sit, all right? but with a nice wide stance like this. I want you to keep your shoulders back on this. Tendencies to lean forward. You don't want to do that. Back to your high pull W. fives, twos, eights, somewhere in that range, shoulders back. And we high pull and we W. You'll feel your core engage right here, stabilizing your whole back muscle there, your erector spinae. Don't push the hips forward. And I'm thinking about those rear delts at the W. So squeezing the back shoulder muscles there. Let's go into the plie again. I'll stick with the 10 pound. Wide stance, shoulders back, and we pulse at the bottom and squeeze your glutes at the top. Round three. Okay. Roll the shoulders back, knees are soft, and stick your chest out. Engage the core. High pull here, W here. Great. Up and here. A little pause. All right, last plie. Sticking with the 10. 
Wide stance, shoulders back, and drop it here. seconds. Quick water break and let's go on to the next circuit. Moving into your hammer curl bent over row. So maybe fives, eights, tens, somewhere in that range. We're going to hinge at the waist, row, full stand, and a hammer curl right there. So we hinge and we row, full stand up here and hammer curl. If the bent over row hurts your back, just stand and give me the hammer curl by itself. Squeeze those shoulder blades together on your row though. You're here, retract, stand and curl. Not to swing the dumbbells at the bottom. Set the weights down and into your leg extension. All right, holding on to something, a wall, a chair, couch. We're gonna go out to the side and then to the back. I'll call halfway and we'll switch legs. So you've got a side lift and a back lift. Side and back. Good, you don't have to lift too high. And we just want to activate the glute and the adductor muscles on the side lift there. In four, three, two, switch sides, and we're side and back. Very good. Back to your bent over row hammer curl. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier, but you stick with what works best for you. It's gonna be whatever you can hammer curl. Hinge it here, and we row, stand and curl. Elbows into the sides. want to keep your core engaged on that hinge forward so you squeeze your abs I like you're contracting them setting the weights down moving into that leg extension remember that stationary knee is soft okay Engage the core, out to the side, and we lift, back, lift. Three, two, one, and switch legs. Just got a slight forward lean here. And one more round. All right, whatever you can do for the last one, challenge yourself with good form. Always good form has to be paramount. Knees are soft, we hinge. Row, stand, hammer here.
And final leg lift. All right, start this side first. Maybe soft shoulders back. Again, slight forward lean just to activate those glutes. And we're out to the side and kick it back. Oftentimes we'll feel the isometric contraction of that stationary leg even more than the working leg, which is awesome. <laughs> I feel it. All right, switching sides. Just holding that body weight up. That's good. You're almost done. 10 more seconds. Stay in the pocket with me. Doing well. In four, three, two, one and done. You move daily in your upper and lower supersets. Nice work, folks. Stay tuned for a stretch if you can. Well done, folks. Let's make our way down to the ground. Nice and tall. We're gonna hinge forward for a hamstring stretch here. My hamstrings are quite tight. <laughs> I did a bunch of deadlifts in our advanced workout yesterday. And uh, yeah, they contracted a lot. So now I'm feeling a little bit of tightness there, which is great. I mean, the goal is to be able to always show up again tomorrow. You don't want to be so sore and stiff that you can't even sit to go to the bathroom or raise your hands to blow dry your hair. Like you haven't won if that's the case, because then you usually skip the next day and sometimes the day after that as well. And that is what we don't want. Remember, hypertrophy is the driver, or volume is the driver of hypertrophy, which means you need to have enough workouts in a given week in order to help you build muscle. If you only do it once a week, yes, you're moving the muscle and you're moving your body and it's better than sitting on the couch. But if you wanna build muscle, you need more volume, which means more sets, which means more time spent exercising. So I don't want that to sound daunting. Like you can do it in as little as, you know, three days a week even, um, but it does take a lot to build muscle. It doesn't just happen without a good amount of effort. So those little ads that say how to build muscle in a week or sculpted arms in two weeks or less, they're a totally line that it takes so much longer than that. <laughs> Again, I don't want that to sound daunting because always, always remember that while you may not see progress on the outside, you are seeing tremendous progress on the inside. You're benefiting your telomere length, which is like the little end on the chromosomes in all of our bodies that depict whether we're gonna have a longer or shorter lifespan. Uh, you're doing a benefit cardiovascularly. We're doing a benefit staving off things like diabetes. So it's just, it's tremendous to work out. No matter how much you do, how little you do, it all counts and it's all important and it's all beneficial. So keep that in mind. Well, now that I've said it doesn't matter how much you do, if you overexercise, that could be detrimental, right? Rest and recovery are really important as well. Always have to give the caveats because there's always someone <laughs> who says, you said, uh, you know what I mean. Hopefully you do. All right, good workout here though today. I feel those muscles are worked. Again, show up again tomorrow, do a different workout, maybe a cardio workout for tomorrow and rest those muscles. You did well today. Thanks for joining and I'll see you in the next workout.